Okay, in the previous uh, tutorial, we have created the API route, I mean get route. Mm, API route, okay. So, you know, it's serverless, you can call API over here in the same file without configuring the ExpressJS or anything, different server. So, today, uh, as we uh, create and test get request, today we will create post request. So, inside API, I am creating a new folder add data. Okay. And inside add data, create route.ts. So, through Postman, we will create a dummy data. And from the next uh, future tutorial, we will create or more. We will connect our app with the MongoDB and we will save and retrieve our. We will run CRUD operation through MongoDB. But uh, right now we are doing it manually. So let existing data equal to. I'm making it uh, one exist existing description one, and we are creating the second one. This is the post two two two, and th third one we will create through postman. Okay, so. Now create our main function, functional functionality, export async function, okay, post request and here we need request, request, request as it is type script okay and we need try case block try case okay so inside the case will catch the error and return return new response this one is stringify Messages and error occurred. Error. I need a starter scope, right? So Start us, it will be 500 and it needs 
headers content type application json okay now it's time to create the main functionality okay so in the main part we need to parse the request body okay so const const new data or to await request dot json existing data it will push something inside it new data okay and it will send a response return new response this on stringify messages data successfully added and updated data data equal to existing data existing data okay and it needs a status code status to 200 and headers content type application yes so we are done i think that it shows the error mm, data successfully i think we are done so now it's uh, api add data okay let's go to the postman copy the url Paste here. This is post request API at data, and you have to find uh, send it request body JSON. Okay, so you have to find Description New description Okay, if everything and header content type Application JSON
application JSON. So I think everything is all right. Let's see. Boom, we got the success and we got three products, uh, three posts. Okay. So we have existing two posts. Now we are getting number three post a new title and description. So we can successfully able to add product although manually or static uh, next from next tutorial we'll do it we'll save our data to the mongodb database okay but it's working so i what i wanted to show you it's successful thank you very much in the next tutorial i will create env file and you will will to know the how env file should be added in next.js app okay Thank you very much. See you soon. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to Studio. Just to connect.